Well, welcome to Ravensdale Bible Academy. Today's course is fake news from our Think Again series. And today's specific lesson is the use of ad hominem in fake news. So ad hominem is one of our key logical fallacies that really and unfortunately is used all the time uh, by news sources. And, and uh, it's really uh, a shame because it's, it's the lowest level of argumentation kids use it they attack each other with words right they blame each other they it, it's it's the idea that you you attack the speaker or the opposition uh in order to win your argument or in order to uh, disprove theirs um really it's a it has no meaning behind the validity of the truth being said just because somebody is a bad person or a jerky person, right? Uh, the Bible tells us to, to hate lying lips, to hate lying lips. And I, and I think that's one of the principles that uh, we need to come in with is we want to be honest. We, we, we don't want to, uh, when we find ourselves losing a debate or an argument, just look to see how we can attack the other person to make them look bad. That, that's not winning the argument. That's that's using ad hominem. That's using uh, one of the logical fallacies to, um, you know, to almost like, you know, out shout or, or fight, you know, to win uh, your, your argument. The idea of calling people names, right? Calling somebody a liar. Th these are just personal attacks that, uh, like I mentioned before, we're seeing way too often in news. Uh, for me, when I hear that almost immediately, I'm, I'm turned off because if, if you have a great news report and a great news story, you shouldn't have to attack the person. The story itself will, will do that. And so we want to take a look at what some examples of ad hominem are. And really, and, and again, it's an unfortunate thing that you can watch a, a presidential debate where they should be presenting uh, the ways that they believe they can be helping the country. And instead, they just turn into verbal attacks, personal attacks on things that have happened in the past with their businesses, with their families. And, and while that has a place in choosing your leader, your politician, because character does matter, it doesn't have a place as far as presenting factual information. And so the statements then that are made uh, really be, become fake news because, you know, all, all you've done is is just attack your opponent. Just because the the opponent lied or cheated to get something, you know, in business, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, what they did or or the or the business itself was was wrong. And, and so we, we got to be very careful about that. Uh, we saw, especially with uh, President T Trump from day one, you watch the news, it, it's just, whether it's newspaper, or the news media, just slander, slander, attack, attack, attack. Um, we'll see ad hominem. It's not only do you attack the specific person, Donald Trump, but you also attack their family. So, you know, you you use their family, you interview one person in their family to accuse another person in the family. And so there's just all kinds of attack, all that to say what? And in this case, it's trying to prove that Donald Trump is a racist. Well, instead of just proving he's a racist, quote somebody else saying he's a racist. And so that's a, a classic ad hominem attack. You don't have to listen to him if he's a racist, right? Um, and you definitely shouldn't vote for him. Uh, we we saw, uh, you know, CNN, you know, Van Jones attacked uh, another senator, Tim Scott, uh, because Tim Scott didn't like like Joe Biden's speech. Then somehow Tim Scott isn't you know black enough. Tim Scott is is a is a Uncle Tom, and so you know again instead of explaining why Tim Scott was wrong and Tim Scott's responses were wrong. Uh, Van Jones just just attacks him personally, and, you know, just just ridicules him. Again, that's 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 not real news. Uh, we see over and over and over again, uh, you know, on CNN, especially their news anchors, that uh, they will they will attack 
somebody in order to to prove their point. So in this case, the news anchor, Chris Cuomo, actually criticizes a parent. So a parent has, has concerns for their child and addresses them at the local school board. And instead of identifying what that issue is and presenting that issue, it's much easier to just attack the concerned parent. Um, that's a problem. Recently in, in the Virginia elections, we, we saw that the, the news anchors over and over and over again called the Republican Party racists, and that's why they won the, their, 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 not race in their, their, their skin color, but race in the political race. They were able to be victorious because, you know, evidently Virginians don't like black people, except for one person, one, one problem, Winsome Sears is black and they voted for her and they like her and she won. So evidently that's the new face of white supremacy. But the attacks against the Republicans don't stop. It's a lot easier to just call them racist than actually look at the evidence, look at the proof. Um, one of the other examples that we saw earlier was this, this idea of, you know, we see this all the time where a news anchor is quoting a celebrity, an, an actor, a singer, or an athlete. And so, you know, Le LeBron James was making the, all these comments about kids in cages, you know, at the, at the Mexican border. And the problem with that is you're attacking President Trump, you're attacking Republicans, and again, you're calling them, you know, uh, you know, racist and anti-Mexican when really the, the, the whole problem and the whole issue started with a black president, President Obama, and he's the one who built the cages. He's the one that started them. And now we can fast forward and Biden has, has just increased those numbers, you know, far and above Trump. And so the problem is we don't want to attack the people. The, the fact is, whether it was Democrats, Obama and Biden or Trump, a Republican, we have a problem at the border. And part of the problem is that these children come and they're all alone and they need a place there. They have to be put in a place. And so that doesn't look pretty, right? The issue with the ad hominem attack, though, is that instead of specifically addressing the issue, it, it's a distraction. That's why it's a form of fraud, because it's a diversion, right? You're diverting the attention from here and, and putting it over there. And so instead of having the attention on these are the border policies, these are, are, are the problems that are occurring at the border, here are the solutions, here are the tactics, it's just much easier to just attack them and just, you know, call them a racist. Um, or call them a crazy liberal. And so we want to be very careful that when we're listening to these uh, news reports, that we're listening for, for, for the facts, not the attacks. We want facts, not attacks.